Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining us today. We are uh, students from the Certified Dental Assistant Program here at Camosun. Uh, my name is Hillary and presenting with me is Nadia. Today we wanted to speak about the topic of xylitol, resilience and oral health. So to start, I'll just give you a brief overview of what we will be covering in today's presentation. So we're going to be going over what exactly is xylitol, what type of products we can find it in, the impact that it has on our oral health, the possible disadvantages with the side effects, as well as benefits that are found while using xylitol-containing products. So, to begin, what is xylitol? Xylitol is a non-cariogenic sweetener made from plants. It is most commonly produced for major consumption from birch bark and corn husks. This water-soluble sugar alcohol is similar to stevia, another sweetener, as they are derived from organic matter and differ from others like aspartame, the chemically manufactured alternative. Xylitol can also be found in fruits and vegetables and naturally occurs in the human body in small amounts. Like other sweeteners, it can increase salivary flow, which in turn reduces the amount of streptococcus mutans, a bacteria that is able to cause cavities with the possibility of leading to gum disease. Xylitol is unique in the sense that it is non-fermentable by our oral bacteria, the same bacteria that causes decay. What products can xylitol be found in? The dental industry leads the way in using this product. Most commonly, you can find it in toothpaste, mouth rinses, on floss, and in chewing gum or mints. With an increased awareness of daily sugar intake, consumers are looking for other sugar alternatives. You can find xylitol in its crystalline format to be used in baking or for in your morning coffee. Candies are being made with xylitol instead of sucrose to appeal to the children, as well as in cough syrups and lozenges. Essentially, anything you can use traditional sugar for, you can replace with xylitol and have little to no difference in taste compared to other sweeteners. Xylitol as an option for sugar alternatives is to the advantage of the consumer as they also benefit from the anti-karyogenic properties and the knowledge that they are supporting their oral health alongside the rest of the body. Now, we will move on to the impact that xylitol has on our oral health. Xylitol has the ability to help remineralize our teeth. It does this through the means of increasing the amount of saliva in the mouth. Our saliva is already our body's natural defense from cavity-causing bacteria. It also benefits people who suffer from xerostomia, commonly known as having dry mouth. A steady consumption of xylitol decreases the amount of streptococcus mutants in the mouth over time and could help permanently. The breakdown of xylitol is unlike other sugars. It is slow and it is not fully digestible. For those that struggle with sugar intake, this enables them to use it as energy longer. When streptococcus mutants infects our mouth, it lowers the pH, making the environment more acidic, which leaves the teeth susceptible to decay. Xylitol helps by neutralizing the pH, leaving bad bacteria to starve and die out as long as xylitol remains present. With lower levels of acidity and bacteria, the teeth are able to fortify weakened enamel and reverse decay already present. Cavities and gum disease can be contagious. They can be passed on through sharing drinks, food, as well as kissing a loved one. Mothers can also pass it to their unborn child if they have poor oral hygiene. Xylitol has the ability to prevent the spread of cavities and gum disease to one another because of the anti-karyogenic properties it possesses. It promotes good oral hygiene, but frequency of use is more beneficial than the quantity. What are the disadvantages to using xylitol? When it comes to these products, they are not as readily known to the everyday consumer, and that is why we want to raise awareness. Because they are not as readily known, they are not labeled sufficiently or can be hard to find. You can find xylitol on ingredient lists, but they often lack support on how much is contained in the products. And as healthcare professionals, we should advocate for our clients on correct dosage. With incorrect doses means excessive consumption. This could lead to abdominal pain, bloating, gas, and even diarrhea. Those using xylitol should also keep it away from pets like dogs, as it is toxic and could lead to death due to low blood sugar because they cannot digest it the same as humans can.
the risks associated with xylitol use are few and far between. Surely they are still being studied, but from what we can find, there are no side effects from use, and those using daily or continuously have found no harm in doing so. The oral health effects are long-lasting, if not permanent. Xylitol has many benefits. It is great for diabetics and elderly people. It releases very little insulin and does not require insulin for reuptake into the body. The glycemic index is a scale used to determine how much blood sugar levels are raised by carbohydrate-containing foods, and xylitol reduces the index. It also helps with other health issues like weight gain and constipation. Linked to the glycemic index, xylitol is considered a low carbohydrate, which can help people who need to have a low-carb diet. Those who have issues with regular bowel movements can take advantage of the properties xylitol has on the gastrointestinal tract when used just over the recommended amount for the oral health care. When it comes to oral health, the dental industry greatly benefits from xylitol. As we have continuously stated, clients who use xylitol are less at risk for dental caries they reduce the amount of streptococcus mutins, lower the acidity level in their oral cavity, and help prevent the transmission of bacteria onto loved ones. In summary, xylitol is a resilient product not only for general overall health, but especially for oral health. With everything in life, moderation is key. Too much could upset the balance of your stomach, but the right amount can help keep your mouth in happy homeostasis. Thank you for listening to our presentation, and we hope you can use this information to your oral health benefit.